Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about GABA for ADHD use. Just a reminder, I'm not a doctor and I'm not a chemist. Nor do I pretend to be either one of those things. I do not encourage the use of any substances, legal or illegal, and this video is strictly for educational and entertainment purposes only. So, gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA, is the inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain and body that is responsible for essentially calming everything down. Um, there was only really one study done on this topic as far as GABA in its relation to ADHD that I know of, and it was to determine if persons with ADHD had normal amounts of GABA in the brain. And it only had, I think, 20 participants, uh, something really small. Maybe it was 12. I don't know. I, <laughs> I read the study this morning. I apologize, I don't remember the exact statistics, but they were all young children, and the results showed that they had lower levels of GABA in the brain uh, than normal persons do who do not have ADHD. Granted, um, I would personally uh, think that the lower amounts of GABA would be to their eight, due to their age rather than due to their... Um, ADHD status. I mean, that kind of goes back to the idea that young boys are often labeled as ADHD when they may not actually be ADHD. Um, but when it comes to GABA, it being inhibitory is very powerful. We know this because people use it for anxiety and sleep all the time. So the idea is that if someone has a hyperactivity, an impulsivity, something like they might be on uh, a medication like I heard about recently called guanfacin. Guanfacin, yeah. Uh, I think it's uh, alpha beta 2 agonist or an antagonist. R sorry, my apologies. That uh, lowers blood pressure and calms the mind. I may have gotten something wrong on that. Uh, apologize if I did. Um, GABA could be useful in the same inverse regard um, because it's inhibitory and calms down the brain. Um, overall, I think it really depends on the type of ADHD that the person is experiencing. If the person has an inability to pay attention due to lack of stimulation on any regard, like any point or any regard, I would imagine that a dopamine releaser or a dopamine reptic inhibitor would be much more beneficial. But if the person is hyper stimulated, um, constantly hyper fixates on random things, but does not get a lot done. Maybe they talk, maybe they're one of those people that just can't stop talking about one speci specific particular topic. I would imagine that something that slows down or is on the GABA side of the, uh, medication might actually work better. I, I I'm not saying guan, guanfacin actually is on that side. I'm just saying, I would imagine that with the same, idea that guanfacin works, GABA could work. Now, the question I have is, if you were to use this in conjunction with something that releases dopamine, would it affect it? Would it make it better? Would it make it more useful? I know that people often use guanfacin in conjunction with Adderall or Ritalin treatment when they're being treated for ADHD. So would GABA with, you know, caffeine, DMHA, Something stimulatory, would it actually have the benefit of upregulating the dopamine system to be, you know, normal on all levels and then the GABA level to be normal on all levels and not have the problem of low GABA and then inconsistent dopamine? I don't know. Um, I would like to hear if anybody has any information on this. Um, so that would be very useful. But overall, I think GABA has a relatively safe um, safety profile. Uh, safety and efficacy data is lacking. However, overall, I'm just, I guess m the majority of this is from anecdotal and what I've learned. Um, but the data is lacking a bit, um, simply because online there aren't a lot of studies I could find re in relation to GABA and ADHD. It's more so in GABA for other things like stress, sleep, and even when it comes to those, there's not a lot of data on the safety and efficacy of it. Um, but overall, it seems to be safe and tolerated up to about three grams per day. 
uh, 3,000 milligrams. Um, but I've heard of people even ingesting up to 18 grams a day and being fine. Um, I don't necessarily know if that is something to take note of or not. That's just something I read uh, in my piling through the studies of GABA. So yeah, I think it could be very useful for people who have the excessive hyperactivity and maybe less of the um, attention issues when it comes to ADHD. But overall, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit that notification bell. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to keep those shoulders back and down when you lift. And until next time, don't just have a good one. Have a great one.